in the bag. When are you leaving? Right away. I'm making my 10th anniversary broadcast from the ranch. Roy, you can be mighty proud of your 10 years in pictures. You've made millions of friends all over the world. Hey, Roy, sing Dust, that song you sang in your first picture. You know, we haven't heard that in a long time. Okay, Joe, I'll remember. <laughs> well, good luck and have a nice trip. We'll all be listening to your broadcast, Roy. Thanks, Paul. You bet. Hey, crazy you, boys. We'll see you. Hello, Roy. Hello, Roy. Hello, Mr. Rogers. 
Cookie promised to introduce us after we took our naps. Didn't you, Cousin Cookie? Cousin Cookie, huh? I guess I can't deny him, Roy. It runs in the family. That's Alf, Luke, and Grover Bullfinger. Cookie, if you don't quit hiring your relatives... Well, Roy, after their mama died, we'll Luke, never be able to see you. I know. By the way, Cookie, did you ever hire that horse trader I asked you about? Huh? Oh, well, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, Roy, now that's something else I wanted to talk to you about. It was... Oh, look at that. There's a little bomb. <laughs> Hey, that bus that's been rounding up range horses is over in the north pasture. Oh, who is it, Cookie? Oh, some strangers butchered up them range horses for meat and hides. That's what happened to the buffalo. Yeah, but this is legal and it's written on our army contract. It isn't legal if it's on our range. We well, better get over and see that there's no double R horses in this bunch. so bad. Come on, 
on now. On your feet. Lead the rest of your pills back out on the range. Come on, fella. Gave you a nice lesson in the manly art of self-defense, too. Where were you? Just watching. Or you were a sucker for those and laughs. You see, we can use that money, Jack. Yeah, yeah, now, fellas. Hey, you're getting awful touchy. Well, I'm sore. Where were you when I was taking that beating? Yeah. If we lose that herd, the hide contract is gone, and so is the money. Oh, no, take it easy. We're going to do something about it. But what about the horses? We'd better round them up before Rogers gets everybody thinking his way, and they run us out. Range horses? Well, that's just chicken feed. I'm thinking about now is one horse. Yeah, but Rogers. And Roy Rogers. And the smartest horse in pictures. Say. Get that flea bitten Australian coyote out of here. Tramp! Come here. Haven't I told you not to come in here when we're busy? I know, but it's way past lunchtime and I'm hungry. Here, get yourself something to eat. Thanks. Come on, Tramp. Here with Ed. That dog steals everything around here. I can't even find my no sales staff anymore. Let me handle this. Told you before, take him out and get rid of him before I do it for you. But I'll break him up stealing, Lige. He'll learn. So take him out and get rid of him. Sure, Lige. Sure. Between that dog and that stepson of yours, my patience is wearing out. Now don't worry about him. I'm shipping him off pronto. I hope he didn't hear that crack about triggers. Well, Junior, you look nice enough to go to church. Growing out of all your clothes. <laughs> Again. Wait. 
looks the first time she ever seen a movie star. I can sure tell she's your relation. She weighs a ton. Oh, she ain't so big. How old did you say she was? Well, now, let's see. When I left... Oh, oh, oh. No, she don't, I don't rightly remember, Roy. Well, you know how we tell the ages of horses, don't you? You mean look at her teeth? Right. No. I can't imagine her being afraid of a mouth. Why a bullfincher ain't afraid of anything on four legs? Business deal? Do you generally go around making business deals in one booth? Oh, no. I just listened to the song when Tramp took it. He's always doing things like that. <laughs> What's the matter, son? Did you hurt yourself? No, not lately. A horse kicked me two years ago. Doc Richard said I needed an operation. Ryan said my leg will have to get well by itself. Where do you live? Well, right now I've found a place I like, got a job. <laughs> that sounds to me like a hint. Well, I thought Mr. Rogers might need an assistant. Somebody has to shine his guns. So that's the business deal. Well, I think maybe we could use his other hand and his dog. <laughs> Thanks, Tramp. That is, if he isn't running away from home. How about it, fellas? I sure are. Who is this Lige fellow you spoke about? Well, he's my stepfather. He works for Mr. Jordan down Saddleback, catching wild horses, but he won't mind. Well, I'll phone down and see what I can find out. In the meantime, how about some chow, Carolyn? Okay. Ted, you better come along with me. You could stand a little... Well, you know what they say about cleanliness. Gee, thanks, Mr. Rogers. Well, now that you're working for me, just call me Roy. You call me Ted. That's a deal. Come on, Tramp. Maybe we can even find a bone for Tramp. Hello? Hey, 
light. Well, <laughs> boy, it's like old times hearing your voice again. Roger. Who? Ted. <laughs> no, ain't that just like a kid? His step Pop Slides McFarland works for me. Yeah. No, he ain't right now. I'll sure tell him when he comes in. <laughs> well, thanks for calling. Goodbye. That kid of yours up to Rogers Ranch asking for a job. Well, that's the last time you'll pull that trick. I'll go up and get him and give him a town he'll never forget. Just a minute, Lige. You ain't telling nobody. We want him to get that job. Whether you know it or not, the boy's just done us a big favor. Yeah. Maybe he can help us on that Palomino horse trading deal we're thinking about. That's right. <laughs> Gonna stick around for the big horse race? Who do you think will win? The world's fastest dog or the world's fastest horse? You better bet on my side, Carolyn. Tram told me he was ready. Didn't you, Tram? <laughs> you can be the official starter, Cousin Cookie. Sure, cousin. Oh, now, wait a minute, boy. You can tell by looking at him he's not one of us. We were bigger than that when we were born. Now get in there and start the race. Go on, go on. Get on your marks. Get set. Go. Trigger, see, I told you so. Well, Trigger won, but it was fair and square. I'm not mad at you. Come on, Tramp. Come on, Tramp. Tramp, that was a good try. Roy? Mm hmm. You know why Trigger won? Why? Because you can holler, come on, not than I can. <laughs> Trigger's legs are a little bit longer, too. How about taking a long ride on the winter? Hi, Pop. Roy, boy, I'll be you. Glad to see you back. Good to see you, too, Pop. <laughs> Hi, Ted. Is everything okay? Sure, Lodge. I'm fine. Roy's giving me a job in the ranch. This is, uh... Lige McFarland, the boy, step top. Hi, how are you? That's mighty nice of you, Mr. Rogers. I'm pretty busy, and Ted and I have been bachelors. Sometimes he gets a little out of line, but if he wouldn't be in your way, always room for one more. You mean I can stay? You're not mad at me for... Run away? No, no. There won't be any more running away, will they, Ted? I'll see that he scrubs behind his ears. <laughs> you know, that's mighty handsome of you, Miss Carolyn. A woman's influence will probably do the boy a lot of good. So this is the famous trigger. Roy, I won't apologize for that cowpoke of mine slugging that horse. I fired him as soon as I found out about it. Tram! Yeah, you thieving mother, come back here now. Hey, Pop, please, I'll get him. You better. Uh... Take it easy, Pop. <laughs> Why, he's just a puppy. Let him have his fun. Be a good boy, Ted. Do what Mr. Rogers tells you. There's your stuff. By the way, you know you're both invited to Roy's anniversary broadcast tonight, don't you? <laughs> we'll be there sure, Miss Caroline. Or bust the sedge. Ten years, huh? Boy, we'll put on a wing day. It's a pretty. I kind of hate to cut it. Yes, indeed, ladies and gentlemen. This beautiful anniversary.
anniversary cake here on the table in front of us is too beautiful to cut. But we've got to get on with the proceedings here. So while the guests in the ranch living room are being served this anniversary cake, we're going to call upon Roy to give us one of the songs that helped make him King of the Cowboys. Ladies and gentlemen, Roy Rogers. That's a pretty good-sized piece of cake you got there. Yeah, you ought to get yourself some. Yeah, we will. Say, where'd you get that fancy shirt? Oh, it's Roy's. He loaned it to me for the party. But he says I'll grow into it. <laughs> that looks fit deep. Let's grab us a hop. I bet you triggered like right, some. Let's go see. Keep your little mouth shut. Get that? Yes, sir. You just can't. 
came down here and Trigger was gone. That's all. You never saw anybody, remember? No, sir. I didn't. That's a smart boy. If you ever crack one word, I'll shoot your head off. Don't forget that. And that goes for your friend Rogers and Trigger. Don't try and holler for help, because I'll be right outside the door. search for Trigger is being continued by plane, automobile, and horse, and the sheriff has announced that no stone will be left unturned in the hunt. Although it is feared that Trigger has been stolen and may be held for ransom, no contact has yet been made with the abductors. They'll be contacted soon enough to let them steal their own juice for a while. <laughs> not bad. Not bad at all for a green hand, as the feller says that ought to do it. We've got Trigger. You can have him back for $100,000. Dead horse is no good to you or me. Have money in small bills. Instructions will follow. Act fast and don't fool around. Sounds like it, Rose. Sure, that's the way we want to sound. Might as well bring him in. It's no use in watching any longer. I guess we're safe now.
called the studio today, and they've arranged to have the hundred thousand dollars here the first thing in the morning. You know, I've got a hunch of somebody that knows us pretty well. It was such a smooth job, they must have been watching us all the time. If we had just one clue, if Ted had gotten there a second sooner, he could have had a good look at them. Yeah. How was the kid? Not so good. He had quite a scare. He wouldn't go to bed till I told him what was in the ransom note. Then the part about Trigger really upset him. Maybe I better go have a talk with him. How about a lullaby cookie? Sure. What's the matter, Ted? Can't sleep? Not right. I understand. I'm having the same trouble. How are you doing, Tramp? Good boy. Here, let me give you a hand. Ted, are you sure you told me everything you saw at the barn that night? Uh-huh. Everything. What's the matter? Splitter. I can fix that. You know, Ted, anything you can remember might give me a clue. You want to get Trigger back, don't you? Oh, yes, more than anything. Hurt you? Ted, there's boys all over the world who would like to help you right now. But you're the only one who can. If you know anything, anything at all, don't be afraid to tell me. I will. You want to tell the truth? Sure you do. If everybody would tell the truth, this would be a much better world to live in. You try to go to sleep. Sure, right. Don't worry about a thing. They're not worried or they wouldn't be singing. Thanks for the help, fellas. 
you to drink. It made me sleepy, too. Think I'll turn in and save my drink for tomorrow. Yeah, me too. Don't anybody move. Nobody's going to get hurt. I just want to talk to you. What about it? I know where a trigger is. Trigger? It won't cost you $100,000 to find out. $10,000 is my price. How can you prove it? I thought you'd ask that. Take a look at this. Doesn't necessarily prove anything. A lot of horses have white manes and tails. Where is he? First, the 10,000. Okay, you'll get it. The first. <laughs> They shot him. Because it was double crossing him. Double crossing who? I wish I knew. Well, we haven't got a chance at. Morning, Sheriff. Morning, John. You're right on time. You've been sitting here all night? No, I trust the bars on the window and the burglar alarm. Well, I guess that hundred thousand the vault would buy the place. <laughs> yeah, I guess it would. <laughs> I'll be in the bank for a while. Go and get yourself an ice cream cone. Thanks, Roy. Come on, Tramp. He's just about to tell us where Trigger was, but he shot him in the back. You supposed to hurt Trigger? Oh, as long as they get the money, I think the horse will be safe. If they don't, it'll probably be the end of them. Well, Roy's in the bank now getting $100,000. Well, in that case, Ted, you ain't got anything to worry about. Sit on Pappy's knee and I'll tell you all about it. You see, it's like this. Roy goes into the bank, gets the $100,000, gives to these folks. And triggers okay. Sure. That's all they gotta do is give the money to the people that did this. Are they treating you all right up there, Ted? Sure, Lodge. Well, that's good. If they don't, you just let me know. Come on, Tramp. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hi, Sheriff. Hello, Roy. I guess you can see I got the money. Yeah, the studio shipped it in last night by special messenger. It's my duty to check up on things like that. Going someplace? Mm-hmm. Taxpayers think it's a good idea if I went along for protection. Well, I'm a taxpayer, and I think it's a pretty good idea, too. Let's go. Is Pop Jordan selling ice cream cones now? No, Roy. I wasn't hungry. So I went over to say hello to Pop and wife. Oh. Well, come on, get in. Hi, Carolyn. Yeah, I'm sure I'm missing my big opportunity. I was going to sell Roy a song for his next picture, but Trigger's got me so upset that boots and saddles just sound like a lot of work. Sounded kind of pretty to me. Hey, here's something that came in the mail that looks plenty interesting. It looks just like the other one. Yeah. Hi. Hey, Roy. Roy, this just came. I think 
think it's from the same fellas. Well, open it. What's it say? Trigger safe. Follow instructions carefully. Be at Twin Rocks tomorrow and sign up with money. Put in saddlebags, turn horse loose. If you follow, you will be shot. So will Trigger. Well, at least Trigger's safe. We know what to do. Yes, if you can believe them. I'll sure be glad to see that horse again. You see, Ted, by tomorrow we'll have Trigger back. I think the money will be safe here till tomorrow, Sheriff. If anything goes wrong, I'll give you a buzz. If I were you, Roy, I wouldn't bother. Because we're going to forget about this ransom note and not pay the money. No, wait a minute, Sheriff. Trigger means more to me than any amount of money. I'm sorry, Roy, but there's more to this than just getting Trigger back. A man's been murdered, and there may be more. That money stays right where it is. There's still law and order in this county, and the apprehension of murderers and blackmailers come first. Can't you see if we let this bunch of outlaws get away with this? It will only serve to encourage them and others to pull the same trick again. No one will be safe. But these men are dangerous. They'll kill Trigger if they don't get their money. Yeah, but the money's... Shh! Naturally, I'm going to do all I can to prevent that. And I'll need help from all of you. I think you can count on this. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sheriff. I guess I just didn't realize. You know how much Trigger means to me. But if that's the way you want it, that's the way it's got to be. What's your plan? That's the spirit. Round up your boys and have them meet me here tonight. Now, here's the plan I have in mind. It's by daylight tomorrow morning, we'll all be staked out in a big circle around Twin Rocks. When Roy turns the horse loose with the fake money, one of us will be able to keep our eye on him at all times without following him and jeopardizing Trigger. Give the horse a good start and follow him at a safe distance. If anything happens, fire a shot and we'll all come running. Understood? Mm -hmm. All right, saddle up. Roy, don't forget your little package. I don't want it. Hey, Pat, saddle up for him, will you? Is in the drawer. You got time to try a chorus? Why not? Say, but ain't it peaceful out tonight? Say, but ain't the moon a shining bright? Robin's in his bed, and the country's side the bed.
you really like the song, Roy? Song? Sure, sure. Would you like it enough to use it in your next picture? No, it wouldn't be. Oh, gee, then you'll use it. Oh, that's swell. Well, wait a minute. Who wrote it? A relative. A cousin of mine by the name of Bullfincher. Cookie Bullfincher. I enjoyed that, Roy. Gee, it was beautiful. You think so, huh? Oh, yeah. You're fired. Oh, Roy, you can't fire me. My cousins won't let you. And besides, what for? For writing songs on ranch time. You little tattletale, I'll get you. Roy, honest, I did it on spare time, so help me, I did. From now on, you'll have a lot of spare time. Oh. In Hollywood, writing songs for me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Cookie, Cookie, come to you. are going to be famous. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hollywood, swimming pool, lights, and girls. Yeah. We better get started. Oh, oh dear, dear. Get a Get a block packed in oh. my way. My hat, my hat, my hat. Should have been here a long time ago. We better get Trigger inside. I guess we have. Hey, fellas, give us a hand. Bring some ropes from the wind.
I thought Rogers was smarter than that, knowing we still got Trigger. But we won't have long because now they force us to get rid of him. What's going on here? Don't do that. Where's the money? Well, trigger old fella, it looks like they let you do it. I you guess you was right. Better do your stuff. All right, boys, get your shovels. We've got to bury the evidence. <laughs> where you've been hiding your loot. Right. You're a regular thief. It's handkerchief. Like Somebody's boot. Pop's glove. What do this is? Looks like something's going to cut out of here. The ransom note. Smart, sending the boy here to spy on you, and then when he saw how things were going, skip out with the money. Tramp seems to think you're wrong, Sheriff. What are we going to do now? Wait for another contact. That's all we can do. We're not waiting for anything, Sheriff. Tramp, come here. Tramp, you never left Ted for anything unless you went to steal something. Go find him for me, will you? I'll find him. Yesterday, a lot of 
any other kind of food. Don't worry, Glenn. We'll fix up something to take you down to the doctor's. Fix up a liver for him, boys. Okay, bud. All right, Ted. Hey, fellas, get them horses out of the trash. And never mind the stretcher for Glenn. He won't be needing one. All right, keep her going. Why, you're getting to be a hungry young stallion. Hey, what's the matter with you? Oh, you bring him live. Where do you think you're going? Mike, you said you didn't trigger. Why, of course not. You mean you didn't? Why, of course not. Gee, thanks. But you can't leave Trigger in there and starve. Don't worry, he won't starve, son. It's smoke.
you. Now I'll take that money. Too bad a kid like Ted had to get himself mixed up with a no-good guy like you. Just... Just a minute, young fella. Pop! Attaboy, Pop. Now, Pop, let him have it. Sure, I'll let him have it. Just as good as anybody. Royal is the best doctor in the country. Oh, you better agree. It's 